What's up guys? In today's video, we'll be adding on to the Ginyu Force by painting the Mighty Commander Jace. Which if you haven't checked out Captain Ginyu's video yet, I'll put a link up in the corner so you can go check it out. Alright, let's get started. First things first, as with any model or figure, I had to do a bit of cleanup. To make things a bit easier, I applied some Bob Smith on Cure to help break up all the glue so I could disassemble him into more manageable parts. I also filled in the gaps in his hairline using some milliput so it would be a lot smoother and just overall look a lot better. Then to get him prepped for painting, I applied a layer of matte varnish as a sort of primer. And the main reason I chose to use matte varnish rather than a traditional primer was mainly so I wouldn't have to mask off his eyes or worry about having to repaint them, since I thought they looked really good just as they were. Once the varnish was nice and dry, I pulled out my reds and started repainting all of the skin. And because of using that matte varnish for the primer, you can immediately see just how much more rich and vibrant these reds are compared to his original skin color. It's just so much better. After finishing up all that red, I pulled out my masking tape and Vallejo liquid mask and masked off all of those red parts. After which I applied a base coat of white paint to his hair, armor, gloves, and his shoes. Which absolutely reminded me just how much I hate painting pure white. It's just the worst. With the white base coat done, I removed all that masking and started creating the initial shadows on all the white parts. At this point, I was really feeling the need to start breaking up all that white, so I decided to take a bit of a break and work on the yellowish parts of his armor.
next I painted all the black areas, and remembered that I'd forgotten to remove the Vallejo Liquid Mask from the Ginyu Force emblem that I'd applied earlier, so I did that at this point, and then moved on to carefully lining all the yellow armor using some sepia ink. Then using black ink, I started blacklining Jace's hair and creating some secondary shadows. However, I quickly realized that using black for those secondary shadows was the wrong choice. So I ended up repainting all those using a mixture of light gray and medium gunship gray instead. Coming back to the white bits, I applied some additional shadows using light gray, followed by some more black lining using black ink. Then, to finish off all the painting, I applied some highlights to the black using medium gunship gray. Finish him! I then glued his head back onto his body, and then proceeded to magnetize his little feet using my new favorite tool, the Wild Stick Pen Drill. And with that, Jace is complete. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, please help me out by giving the video a big thumbs up, destroying that subscribe button, and help me reach my new goal of surpassing 10,000 subscribers. It's over 9,000! And if you want to be even more awesome, come and join us on Patreon. Okay, bye. Jace, complete. Wonder, oh!